Hello everyone, it is week 31 and as you can see, I am not home. <laughs> I am working, I am on the road and so I am coming to you from my hotel room. But anyway, um, the one thing I wanted to talk about this week that I'm just going to dive right in is talk about what I've been noticing in the comments. I have been seeing that a lot of people have been discussing what to do when the medication doesn't wear off. Should they decrease the medication? Should they increase the medication? Should they um, come down one pill? You know, all of these things that I've seen lately that people have been talking about. And um, the one thing that I believe is that I believe that it's important that people on the medication need to focus on their eating habits. I think a lot of times we're so stuck on the pill and what the pill can do for us that we kind of um, fade away from really looking at our own eating habits and what we need to do in order to make the change in our lives. Ideally, we all would be able to stay on a low dose of Contrave and keep the cravings away. But the reality is, as long as the government and employers don't believe in the power of these pills for weight loss, whether it be because they don't want to really pay for it, because it's really expensive, whatever the case is, until they believe that it's as important as like a blood pressure med, it's, it's not going to be easily accessible. And that's the unfortunate thing. And so that's why I am grateful that Contrave even has a system now where you can buy it yourself for $99 without going through a whole lot. And even though that's not cheap, it's not nearly as expensive as other medications out there. So this is why at a certain point when I started to feel like the medication was kind of eh, you know, sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. I really had to stop and focus on what I was eating because if I don't start changing that, and that's something I can control, um, I'll always be at the mercy of my cravings and what I want. And I'm not saying I don't have cravings. I definitely do have them. I don't, do I have them all the time? No, no. And um, do I feed my cravings? More times than not, I do. Because if I feed it and I let it go, I'm good. I'm always a portion control person, so you'll never see me eating out of a bag of chips or anything. I measure everything, but I also give myself a whole lot of grace. Like, for example, I'm never going to go a week eating the wrong thing unless I'm like out of town and I don't feel like I can access things that I need to. But in my brain, I'm always thinking I need to eat real food. I need to eat well and not just eat crazy. I just want people to be looking into what are the things that are missing in your diet right now. Because a lot of times these triggers of these cravings come from a lack of other things in the diet. Like, I don't know if I've mentioned, I think I've mentioned how much I love red grapefruit now. And I'm so happy to be eating fruit, period, because I went through a long time, I wasn't eating fruits or vegetables. So for me now, it's a little easier to incorporate fruit and vegetables into my diet because it's something that I know is good for me and it's like a goal for me. I had to set a goal to eat these things. And I always feel like when I'm full off of things that are good for me, there's no room for my cravings really. And if a, if a craving is there, it's usually a very small craving. And a lot of times I'll be like, I just want something a little sweet, <laughs> something. And a lot of times when I eat fruit, and I you could never tell me this would work, a lot of times when I do have a craving and I eat fruit, that's still a sweet, that's still sweetness. <laughs> it's a good sweetness, not an artificial sweetness. And it takes that craving away. It just totally takes it away. So, you know, when other people used to tell me, or I would read, people would be like, yeah, you know, whenever I get a craving, I have an apple. I was like, get the crap out of here. That's not pie. That's not, <laughs> that's not cookies. Oh my goodness. I, I was bad. And I'm sure you all have said the same thing. Like that is not <laughs> a sweet. <laughs> I used to say the same thing. You know, some of you have just started Contrave and you've watched how I have progressed over these 31 weeks and how my diet has changed, how I eat has changed. A lot of people ask me what I eat and 
I always tell people, you need to eat what works for you. What works for me and what I like is not going to be the same thing that you like. So you have to figure out what works for you. So this week I did not do a weigh-in because I was bad last week and I admitted Friday was the first time I had Popeyes in an extremely long time. It's been a while since I had it. And Saturday I went out to eat and I went to see MJ on Broadway. And um, side note, um, I could have done without MJ. But you know, I have high expectations when it concerns Michael Jackson. So. I just wasn't feeling it like feeling it in this play and I really wanted to like it but as I said I walked into it with extremely low expectations and it didn't disappoint. Yeah I just wanted to let you all know um, that I hear you and I've been watching the comments and I've been seeing people nervous about their pills not working. I went through all of what you went through when I was on two pills and I started noticing it came back. And it was more so at the beginning. You know when people say, oh, at the 16th week, things changed? For me, I don't know at what point it started to change, but as I kept taking it at a certain point, I stopped having such strong cravings. And I, when I compare it to how my cravings were before, it's this time, it, you know, now when I'm on Contrave, it's nothing compared to before I ever took Contrave. So... Those of you who are on it, do not despair. Contrave, it just causes so many changes in the body. It's um, amazing how many times, like, you'll take one or two, and like some people, they'll take one or two and be losing weight, and there'll be other people that have to take the whole four in order to see any weight loss. You know, as I said, everybody's body is different. Everybody's gonna lose differently. Um, I have not lost like other people have lost, but in a way that's not a bad thing because it's allowed me the time to really self-reflect on how I'm eating, what I'm eating that's not good for me, what is missing from my diet, and causing me to leave a big old gap for potato chips and other crap to fly in. So now that I fill my, um, I fill pretty much my day with things that are good for me, it takes away a lot of those cravings. So I'm just saying, look into that and take control of how you're eating to some extent. I know it could be difficult sometimes, but on contrary, it should definitely be easier. And if it's not, then, you know, it may not be for you. Contrary may not be working for you anymore. You may need to look at something else. Um, I've spoken in other videos about other alternatives that you can pay for. What is the quiz, quiz, quizemia? Something I spoke about, a few, it was like a few videos back about an alternative to Contrave. And some people have had amazing success on it. Um, I thought about it at the time, switching from Contrave to that, but I was so deep in the Contrave, I was like, let's ride this out. You know, fast forward 30 weeks, um, I'm like nine pounds from where I want to be. So I, I got no complaints. It took a while, but I mean, what's the rush? You didn't gain it overnight, so I didn't expect to lose it overnight. So I know this is longer than I expected. I thought I was going to shut up <laughs> very quickly, but I just, you know, wanted to address some of the things I've seen in the comments. And for week 32, I will be back home because <laughs> I get home next Tuesday. And um, I don't know if I have a way in then because um, I know my mom has a scale, but I don't know if her scale is accurate, like my scale at home. So um, we'll see. We'll see where my um, where everything lies. And I may have a way in or you may have to wait until week 33 for a way in. But we are headed to week 32 next week. I can't believe it. <laughs> But anyway, I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Bye.